ve muhtara'ati dahile. Al-Hafid ibn Hibban in his sahih he mentioned that obeying the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam means to comply with his sunnah to act upon his sunnah that's what it means to obey the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam obeying the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam is complying to his sunnah and adhering to his sunnah until he say along with rejecting and turning down every statement of anyone who said something in the deen of Allah that opposes the sunnah of the messenger of Allah this is someone who adhere and he follows people they use tricks he says eloquent they eloquent they use tricks to turn and to push the people away from the sunnah by inventing ways that are pandalal waliyadu billah so obeying the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is adhering to his sunnah and by rejecting the statements of anyone who brings something in the name of the deen but it opposes the sunnah of the prophet look at the mubtadi'ah oh this is good it's for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this is for the sake of Allah, for the love of Allah. But then if you oppose the sunnah, it is not from the deen of Allah. If you oppose the sunnah, it is not for Allah. If it opposes the sunnah, there is no khair in it. There is no khair in it. So the first thing we should ask is, is this is from the sunnah, not just because of the big propaganda behind it, and how many people are doing it, what country is supporting it, or sponsoring it. That's why the ulama, they mention one of the many ways of the spreading of the bid'a and the innovation that some governments and countries, they sponsor these innovations. And the laymen, they like, subhanAllah, who, who, who to follow? The whole government, these countries, they look, the king, the people, the government, they all celebrate the maulid. You went to America and you came back and tell us it's haram, it's bid'a. The whole country doing it, man. It's even a, it's, it's a paid holiday, brother. Now we're going to listen to you. But they, but you just tell them, look, where is it in the sunnah? Did the Prophet ﷺ celebrate his birthday? Did any of his companions celebrate his birthday? Did any of the tabi'een or the, even the four imams? None. So why are you doing it? If it's not from the deen of Allah then we shouldn't do it. Nah. وعن العرباد بن ساري رضي الله عنه قال وعظنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم موعظة وجلت منها القلوب وذرفت منها العيون On the authority of العرباد بن ساري العرباد بن ساري رضي الله عنه who said the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us a serious admonition that made our hearts tremble and our eyes shed tears. فَقُلْنَا So we said, Ya Rasulullah, O Messenger of Allah, كَأَنَّهَا مَوْعِذَةُ مُوَدِّعٍ فَأَوْسِنَا It seems like a farewell admonition. Therefore, advise us. قَالَ أُوْسِيكُمْ بِتَقْوَى اللَّهِ Said, I advise you and command you with the taqwa of Allah. وَالسَّمْعِ وَالطَّاعَةِ يَعْنِي لِي لِلْأَمِيرِ And to hear and obey the ruler. وَإِنْ تَأَمَّرَ عَلَيْكُمْ عَبْدٍ Even if the ruler may be a slave. He be a slave from... فَإِنَّهُ مَنْ يَعِشْ مِنْكُمْ فَسَيَرَ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا He says, those, he who amongst you will leave after me shall see لَا اخْتِلَاف Different things people will do and practice and try to bring to the deen of Allah فَعَلَيْكُمْ بِسُنَّتِي So therefore, when you see that, people are bringing different things, hold on firm to my sunnah. وسنة الخلفاء الراشدين المهديين and the sunnah of the rightly guided خليفة عليك السلام الله 
عضوا عليها بالنواجد the sunnah of the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم the sunnah of the right leg of خليفة bite on it with your molar teeth وإياكم ومحدثات الأمور and be aware of the newly invented matters فإن كل بدعة ضلالة for indeed every innovation is astray and lead you astray هذا الحديث أخرجه أبو داود في السنن والترمذي في الجامع وابن ماجة في السنن وغيرهم وهو صحيح شيخ السادس حديث is collected by Abu Dawood in his sunan at Tirmidhi in his jami' Ibn Majah in his sunan and other than them and he said there is an authentic hadith ثم قال الشيخ عبد الله البخاري حفظه الله قد رسم النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في هذا الحديث العظيم وفي هذه الموعظة البليغة ركيزتين أساسيتين هما He said that the Prophet ﷺ had laid out in this great hadith and this great admonition two fundamental principles and they are as follows أولا الاتباع to adhere to follow the wahi Follow anything else. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, اتبعوا ما أنزل إليكم من ربكم ولا تتبعوا من دونه أولياء. Follow that which was revealed to you from your Lord and do not follow anything else. ثانيا ترك الابتداء. Stay away from innovations. You follow the revelation, you follow the Quran and the Sunnah, stay away from the innovations that the people brings into the deen of Allah that which is not from it. ثم قال الشيخ فهذه جملة من نصوص الوحيين الحاثة والآمرة والمحذرة من مخالفة سنة النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم. So these are just some of the texts from the from the two sources of revelation the book of Allah and the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that ordered us command us and in the same way warned us against disobeying and opposing the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam these are just some of the texts from the Quran and the sunnah they contain a clear command and order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and from his messenger وسلم, of obeying this of adhering to the sunnah of the messenger of Allah وسلم, and warn us against disobeying him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and opposing his sunnah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam What we stop here, we keep keep talking because I want to keep talking. You guys forget everything. Aisha radiallahu anha. Somebody came to her and asked her, and she gave him, asked her, and he gave him. Then she says, "I don't want to keep talking because I don't want you to forget what what you learned from me." You see, the longer the discussion become. The easiest for a person to forget. If I ask you now what this book is about, who can tell me? Hmm? Who can? Everybody should raise his hand. And then I will have the privilege of choosing, except for Abdul Rahman, of course. He came late. Give Halk Abdul Rahman. Khair. Naamakhi. What this book is about? كذلك. Is this is what it is? The book we're studying? نعم. Ah, Is it? Is it? نعم. نعم. أحسنت. من ثمرات التمسك بالسنة. لا. Not obeying. That's only a part of it. 
But the book we're talking about is Naam, what is it again? Yes. No. Weak for me. It is weak. Yeah. No, I'm weak. <laughs> weak is strong, man. Now, if I drink that, I'll be here talking until Fajr. Maybe that's <laughs> like, give him two more. Now, La, ya Sheikh. Talha just said that. The book that we study. The answer you gave me is only what we talked, what the Sheikh is talking about in the introduction. Min thamarati tamasuki bi sunnah. From the fruits that a person gain by holding firm to the sunnah. Yeah. Liman had al kitab. Liman had al kitab. Liman. Naam. Man sahib al kitab. Who is the Sheikh? Is it Imam Ahmad? Or is it Sheikh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah? Or is it Al Arbad ibn Usariya? Which one? Sheikh Abdullah Al Bukhari Ahsant. Sheikh Al Doctor Abdullah ibn Abdul Rahim Abi Usama Al Bukhari Hafidahullah. Now, what do you guys know about the Sheikh Abdullah Al Bukhari? Who can tell me something about Sheikh Abdullah Al Bukhari? Now, No, no, no. That's not what you think about. You tell me he was in Kuwait. If that's what I say you, what is the origin of this book? Which I can ask later on. What do you know about the Sheikh Abdul al-Bukhari? You have anything you know about the Sheikh now? From his, from his teachings, which is Salih al No. Mm-hmm. No. He was also a lecturer at the university. Mm-hmm. No. Tfadl? Say that again? He was a teacher. He's not anymore? He said he was. <laughs> he is. He is. What else? What do you know about Sheikh Abdul Bukhar? No? Huh? No, he resides in Medina, in Saudi Arabia. No. Naam, he's one of the current mashayikh that are called to the sunnah and the way of the sahaba upon manhaj al-salaf al-salih. He studied under the great ulama. I know, like Sheikh Muhammad Aman al-Jami, Hamad al-Ansari, Sheikh Rabia, Sheikh Ubaid, Sheikh Uthaymin and others. Alhamdulillah, Sheikh bin Baz and others. If I'm not mistaken, as related to Sheikh bin Baz. And he's one of the mashayikh of Ahl sunnah He resides in Medina, and he still teaches in the University of Medina, alhamdulillah. And he has other classes in his, in other masajid in the, in the, in the Medina, and also he teaches in many, many, alhamdulillah, seminars and dawarat, whether in Saudi or in the Gulf. Or even in Africa, he went to Africa, maybe he went to Europe and Asia and the like. Nah. Okay, uh, before we move on, let us go back to the ayat. Who wrote down? What is the first ayah we have mentioned? Nah. Nah. The first verse, the first ayah. Naam, Surah An-Nisa, verse 59. Tfaddal. The, the verse says, O you who believe, obey Allah, and obey the Messenger, وسلم, and those in authority amongst you. Somebody going to tell me here. The verse says, Allah says, O you who believe, obey Allah, and obey the Messenger, and those in authority amongst you. What's missing here? <laughs> obey Allah and obey the Messenger 
and those in authority amongst you now. 